<sighs> Illuminate the Osiris Akhenaten, whose word is truth. Hail, Shanti figure. If the Osiris Akhenaten be decreed to do any of the work which is to be done in Kurtnater, let everything which standeth in the way be removed from him, whether it be to plow the fields, or to carry sand from the east to the west, or to do the laundry, or take out the trash. Yea, verily, yea. I will do it. Verily, I am here when thou callest. Excellent. Now, I know thirty is a little old to still get chores from your mother, but that's just how things are when you die and your mother is now there to take you into the underworld. So yea, I command thee, O Shanti figure, chores at once. I will do it. Verily, I am here. It's all about this little girl named Mary and her lamb. Why, dear, I have a story. I'm reading to these nice folks. Out there, dear, out there. Out there. Oh, out there. Yeah. <laughs> Open the book, dear, and let's get started. When we last left our young heroine, Charlotte Nemo, <laughs> she had joined up with a crew of pirates, leaving behind a boring life in a simply boring town and a sadly boring friend and teach. Now, this friend of hers, little Anne Teach, well, she was left all alone in Nemo's artifacts. Why, she was the sole soul there to meet the constables who were looking for the pirates. All right, you floppy-headed hooligan. Where's the rest of your gang? Gang? I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Yeah, playing dumb with us, are you? Does any no. of them look familiar no, 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 to you? Well, yes, but... Looks like she's obstructing justice. I would definitely say so. Let's take her in. We cannot have her kind running I loose in this town. I don't even know who those people are. Maybe a night in jail will help you figure it out. No! Can you turn the page, dear? Surely. Read that book up. Okay. Nay. Little did Charlotte know that her best friend was left behind and locked up indefinitely. Though Charlotte hardly had the time to think about anything but her new life in the air, she had plenty to worry about, principally how to dissuade the captain of the pirates from pillaging the first pyramid that she laid eyes on. Where is everybody? Come on, I need my things. Vanessa, uh, listen to Van, me. Van, find me my dinghy. I'm Look, going down on if it. If you wanted to put a bunch of treasure somewhere where people wouldn't be tempted to take it, why would you build a giant pyramid to ward them that off? That didn't make any sense. Dr. Blood, what bring I'm saying me my is that sword. none of the good stuff is going to be in any of the pyramids. Because? Because 
They're all probably robbed by the people that made them in the first place. But there was so much gold. And so many people working in the pyramids. I see. So you're suggesting... I'm suggesting we go somewhere else. Look. The Book of oh, Infamy talked about this Valley of Kings. Have you ever heard of Isn't it? Isn't that where they found the boy king? Tutankhamun. Exactly. And did you ever see the pictures? His sarcophagus was completely laden in gold. That survived centuries. My guess is there are more mummies with just as much gold. The ding. Quite just a moment, Vren. So, newbie, you're saying we should go rob one of those. Yes. But if I remember correctly, there was a cat. The curse of the pharaoh. I remember that. All the archaeologists died. The first guy, the head archaeologist, found his inside slowly throwing the marsh after they gradually ate themselves. Then another guy was walking home one day and tripped on a dung beetle on his way out of the porta potty. The third guy drowned in the Nile River while he was taking a bath. The next died of dehydration when he got stuck down a well. The fifth got caught cheating at cards and found his head quickly impaled on several toothpicks. And that last one had a heart attack. That's six of the maybe 40 or so people involved I in the I say we day. do it. Yeah, we'll be much worse fine. Than and if it is, I'll just push him to the line of fire again. I don't see a way this can go wrong. Great. Then, set course for the Valley of the Kings. Our cabin girl here will give you the coordinates. I better put on my lab coat for this. Adventure is always getting in my way. We're here! How can you tell? It's just a bunch of sand. Look closely! Can't you see the excavation areas? Haven't a bunch of archaeologists already been here? Well, in some areas. Unlike them, we won't be digging with taste bones. Who cares about history? Get me to the treasure! I don't. If I'm okay with that. This isn't your property. What control do you have over this? But that's our history. I don't have any Egyptian in me. Go back far enough and I bet you do. Not enough to matter. I can't believe I'm arguing with a child again. I can't believe I'm arguing with an adult. Why you? So there are a lot of tunnels, but I don't see any archaeologists. Never doubt the book. It has a few notes and some tombs that I know for a fact haven't been researched fully. When me and Anne used to plan on adventures, Egypt was at the top of our list. We compared the maps in the book with maps from adventurer friends we made. And there are portions of these tombs that haven't been touched since they were sealed thousands of you years ago. You mean to say they're untouched by grave robbers? Well, except for those who stole while they were building. But that leaves all the exterior gold and plenty of artifacts. Uh... What are you doing out here? Get back into the navigation station and bring us down so we can loot! Yes, my captain! This tomb looks familiar. Welcome to the famous Boy King's Tomb, Tutankhamun. Oh, newbie, they've already gone through his tomb. You're wasting our time. I beg to differ. Remember what I said about the hidden areas? Well, there's one in King Tut's tomb, and I have a few theories on who we'll find back there. Who, Rasputin? King Tut's dad, Akhenaten. They already found one unnamed and tossed aside body, and that was his brother, Menkare. Akhenaten did some things to irk his progeny and ended up disgraced after he died. The ancients even scratched his cartouche, his name, out! Which would explain why he'd be hidden away but nearby to his son. You two feel free to prattle on, but I'm going in. You're not afraid of booby traps? You read too much, that's mere fiction. How would any ancient mechanism survive so many thousands of years? That's a valid point. Common sense. Our captain may not be the brightest, but she is logical when it comes to weapons and gold. We'll let the tomb prove her theory. So, newbie, where are we supposed to go? According to the book, the extra room should be over...
Here! Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse uh, me. Out of the way. I you were saying to about her you. intelligence? I never <laughs> complimented her intelligence. <laughs> Shanti figure! Why are you making so much noise? It is not me, O King. I believe that there is someone at the <laughs> door. <laughs> Then greet them. What good are you? <laughs> I cook for you. I clean for you. I do everything for you. But you don't open the door like a nice, polite Shabti figure. I am doing that right this moment, Liege. <laughs> I'm going to go get the app. You'll be able to figure out some sort of proper explosive for our situation. I'll be right back. I shall never doubt my captain again. I did not expect that to work. What is that? It's a Shabti figure. It's supposed to be the Pharaoh's grunt work in the afterlife. Uh huh. And why is it staring at us? They are floppy headed travelers, my liege. Should I turn them away? Did it just talk? It, it definitely it just, talked. just talked. That would be best, Shopty figure. Uh, what is it doing? They're in here. Shanti figure. What are they in here for? I turned them away, but they turned around again. Where is that voice coming from? I am the great and kind Akhenate. You are in my tomb. Get out. I'm dead. Then there shouldn't be a problem with us waltzing in and taking all your things. Like these gold shorts. I need those. For what? For when I go swimming in the afterwater. What about this wine over here? I'm still aging that. When it gets old enough, I'll pop it open for something special. I don't even want to know what that smells like. Oh, would you look at that. I'll be right over there. Hey! Take what we can. We'll come back for more. Hey! I'll curse you if you keep this up. Ha! <laughs> We won't be swimming in the Nile anytime soon. Uh, May your <laughs> armpits be infested with the fleas of a thousand camels! Keep it up all you like. Curses do nothing. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> treasure! So much treasure! Ooh. Then, come over here! Come quick! Right now! Come on! Here, help me, help me get this all. Why don't all my shabby figures attack? Frustrating it is to live in a tomb. This isn't even my tomb. I'm sorry? I built a city, named it after myself, Akitata. My tomb was there, 
Now that was a tomb built for a god. Then why aren't you there? Well, it needed a little more work. I wasn't supposed to die yet. I had so much more to do. So you were killed? <laughs> no. Then what are you complaining about? Look at this place! Great! It's wretched! This is no place for Egypt's greatest pharaoh! You certainly have a high opinion of yourself. I am pharaoh! My word is truth! Then how did you get here? My son, my own progeny put me here. He took me, took my wife, Nefertiti. He uprooted us from our natural resting place and stuck us here in this boring little square. I had a skylight in my old tomb. Well, maybe we could bring you back to your old tomb. No, no. I've seen what they did to my son's tomb. I can only imagine they did the mm -hmm. same to my... Well, uh, I cannot in. Uh, perhaps we could give you a uh, aeronautical burial. Aeronautical? A burial in the sky. A perfect burial for a perfect pharaoh. I like it. Wait one second. I didn't agree to any of this, and I'm not letting you use my it's ship. It's more my ship than yours. I fix it. I take care of it. You constantly put it in the line of fire. Oh, what's that? The flaming ball of doom? Let's fly straight towards it, men. But, Captain, how do you expect us to survive? I'm running out of miracles for the day. I already saved us from a hundred screaming banshees. I got us out of the firing line of death himself. And why does it always seem like my ship that's is on enough, fire? That's enough. Fine, fine. We'll take the Pharaoh up in the air. Hmm. All right. Vladimir Lenin would polish his sickle at the thought of such things. Soon my soul shall be reunited with the sun. Please, keep my scepter as a tribute of appreciation for this great deed you have done me. Alright, let him loose. At last. Curse you! <laughs> Whoops, we must have forgotten to attack the road that we lived in. <laughs> oh my god, how do you forget to do something like that? Well, he's dead already, so at least it won't hurt him. He's falling straight into the Nile. He'll turn to mud. And luckily enough, I saved his scepter. What say we head home and get it and the Apple of Discord praise? I just can't believe this. Excellent. As soon as I get more money, I can get more parts to tinker away. All right, men, we're going to London. Yay! Oh, Captain yeah. Summer, I have prepared a delicacy for such an occasion. Yes, but why don't you bring it out? Eat apple pie of this corridor. Uh, How many times is that apple going to be digested? I'll send us home. Uh. And the pirates made their way to London. Oh, so they thought...